Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to take you through our experience of going to Laos. And so we're going to do uh, what we ate in a day as well as a baby bike seat review. So this is the first time we actually rode these bikes properly and particularly with the baby seat. So that was a new experience being in a really busy city in Asia. We were biking around and for me personally, it was completely new and a little bit out of my comfort zone. But then once I got the hang of it, it was such a beautiful experience. Now let's take a closer look at the bike seat. Here is the Beto Deluxe baby bike seat mounted on our Specialized Diverge Comp E5 2018 model. The Beto Deluxe baby seat currently retails at around 120 Australian dollars. It has a light but durable polypropylene structure, padded foam seat and is relatively easy to mount and to remove. It has a seat belt which I feel could be more secure. It keeps her in the seat but it seems a little flimsy and the same applies to the leg slash feet straps. It's designed well allowing for our baby to securely fit inside with the handlebars providing an additional secure safe feeling. Now it comes with adjustable footrests which you won't see in the video as they fell off and after being reattached several times, they continued to fall off. I must add that the absence of them, however, didn't seem to make a difference to the comfort level for our daughter. She found it very comfortable, so comfortable in fact, that she had a little snooze while we were biking along the Mekong River. Overall, I think the seat is ideal for short trips. There are some drawbacks as mentioned, but the positives are that it's made of tough, durable material, is lightweight and easy to mount, and at its price point was one of the more inexpensive options. I would give the product a strong 7.5 out of 10. So in Laos, the majority of the fruit actually comes from Thailand, so we were familiar with all the fruit, and the only thing obviously is the price difference because it's imported fruit from Thailand. For my current subscribers, you'll notice that this footage is older than what you're used to seeing. This is when Alia was just over 12 months old and at that point she was having breast milk most of the time. Her primary calories were coming from the breast milk and any fruit she was having was really experimentation. She was snacking here and there but really she was consuming mostly breast milk. So you'll notice that throughout the video. Good girl. Mummy's got a plate too. Eating. Rambutan! Rambutan! Yummy! Is it sweet, Papa? Is it sweet? Mm. And Mummy and Daddy are having a little creation meaty mushroom mesh pile and Japanese sweet potato and rice with greens.
Along with this we also had a potato and avocado salad. I also supplement daily with B12. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, just chuck it in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.